Today I'm going to show you a pretty easy way to always make sure that your pocket and your bands and everything when you're going into a solid opening will always line up just like this. So this is one solid piece. And then you'll have this that goes around it. Down here in the back. So this will be the easiest way that I can show you to be able to get all this to line up and start and stop where you want it. All right, I'll go ahead and move these out the way. Now, again, I got my dummy line. I got my start and stop right here. And I know it goes around like this. So I'm going to start right there. That curve that way and this curve this way and so what I want to do is you can see here's my band my little speaker pocket and I'm not going to start at the very front I'm going to come past this notch mark and I'm gonna start a little ways past that notch mark like this and I'll start sewing them together so I got my notches lined up But I'm not going to start and stop and then I also remember from sewing this one up that I gotta kind of stretch the inside pocket more than I do the bottom so I'm gonna just stretch that a little bit more as I walk around and I'll start off from there Three hours later. Alright, so what I did, again, I had my dummy line right here. So what I'm going to come and do is I know that's my start and stop point. This is where this one comes over. So I'm going to go a little bit past that start and stop point. And I'm going to come right here. I'm going to put another notch right here on the flap that I left alone. So I got my dummy line right here and I know the angle that I'm supposed to go at when I start to cut. So I can flip this around like this, come up in like that and judge how that's supposed to go. And before I completely enclose it, this is where I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna sew these two pieces together like this. Again, I'm working with real leather, cut from a cowhide, it's not rolled fake leather, it's cowhide leather and it doesn't work the same under this machine as a regular piece of vinyl so just take care to make sure it doesn't bunch up on you get to the end of here all right and now that I got my band enclosed like this I can trim a little bit of that off, make it easier to join those two pieces. And again, now that I got my band enclosed, I can come around like this and just close up the entire piece. Let me go ahead. I'll make sure I get right back into my old marks. And then I'll start and stop again to be able to lock them all in. I'm going to do that a couple times. I don't want that one thread to unravel. So again, all I got to do now is rock it straight through like this. And 
and as I go around that curve, everything's going to line up perfectly. I don't have no big bubble that I'm trying to stretch out. I don't have no big wrinkle I'm trying to stretch out. All my threads are locked into position. I'll turn that off and there you go. You got this flat piece with a sleeve sewn in it for my, my speaker pocket. And again, it's just enclosed perfectly down here on the bottom. It'll slide over top of this one like that. It needs to be glued down. And here's the other one that I started from the beginning. But there you go. Guaranteed way to fit properly.